Wenshi dough figurines are the famous traditional Chinese pastry in the Wenshi County, Yuncheng, Shanxi Province. They flourished in the Ming and Qing Dynasty with more than 200 varieties. It boasts a history of over 1,000 years. Today, a wedding ceremony is held in this family in Wenshi County. Before 12 o'clock, the bride will be greeted in the house. When the bride comes to the groom's home, she should bring the dough figuring from her family. This is quite important in local wedding customs. It is considered to be a blessing for the wedding couple to have good health and eternal love. The dough figurines in the making today are for wedding purpose, which usually take the image of dragon, tiger, and a phoenix. It demonstrates the blessings of the bride's family for her married life. Making dough figuring is very complicated. It needs to go through nine major procedures including water collection, flour sifting, yeast making, dough kneading, shaping, proofing, steaming, coloring, and decorating. There are also up to 100 smaller processes. All of them are done by hand. The rich Chinese culture, as well as the unique skills gained through a thousand years of practice, is fully demonstrated during these processes. First. We need raw materials for making dough figurines. The dough figurines, which are made with a local Baiyuan flour and a Baiyuan water, are the most authentic. Evenly mix the yeast water prepared the night before with a fine Baiyuan flour and then add some water to make it into dough. Knead the dough repeatedly for at least eight times. Only professionals have a good control over the strength needed during dough kneading. After the dough is prepared, one can start making dough figurines. The dragon's body needs to be done first, but it is quite easy. One only needs to knead the dough into a flat round strip. To make a guzhuan, one needs to use a whole phoenix to serve as a tail. One must be very detailed and meticulous during the production process. For the tail of the phoenix itself, one needs to cut out the jagged tips, while the work on the back of the phoenix is more demanding. One needs to cut in a very delicate way to create the scale-like feathers. Dough proofing is to let the shaped dough to rise. Put the shaped dough on a warm blanket and cover it with a quilt to maintain the temperature and humidity so that the shaped dough will not be deformed and dry so its skin can be moist and smooth. After proofing, the shaped dough is ready to be put on a steamer. The steaming process would usually take about 40 minutes. During the steaming process, one needs to keep the following in mind. Put it on the steamer only when the water is boiling. Maintain a strong fire to let the steam rise. Seal the steamer tight. Do not forget to deflate the steamer. The big and small dough figurines should be steamed separately. Remove the dough figurines from the steamer when the steam is gone. Cool down the steamed dough figurines on a kneading board. The dough figurines will harden and their shapes will become permanent. After the dough figurines are removed from the steamer, the last procedure is to color them while they are still warm. By doing so, the color on the dough figuring is fresher and brighter and would not fade easily. Dough figurings making is a unique form of folk art in Wenshi County. At first, it was only used for sacrificial rites, and there were only two varieties, dragon and tiger, which symbolized the vigor and the vitality. With a change of times, dough figurings has developed and expanded to over 100 different varieties, including fish, insects, birds, flowers, and all kinds of characters. Different designs have different meanings, Different combinations and numbers of dough figurines are often used for different rituals and have different cultural connotations. Wishy dough figuring has a complete system, but the blessings expressed through it remain the same. When people celebrate festivals, weddings, a child's birth, and an elder's birthday, dough figurines are still the first choice for gifts, and it also symbolizes the simple Chinese folk etiquette.